Hey, this is Mark, markgps.com, and today we're taking a look at 1178 East Anza Drive. This is gonna be in Twin Palms. Uh, it's a three bedroom, two bath, 1,863 square foot home. It is listed currently for a million four ninety nine. And um, just doing a swoop around here for the neighborhood. You can see it's a little bit of a cloudy day, which is very nice. And you are close to the mountains here in Twin Palms, and you also can kind of saunter over and get some coffee at Coffee North, or I'm sorry, Coffee South, if you're interested in doing that. But let's go ahead and take a look inside and see what we've got here. All right, I've stepped into the front courtyard through the double uh, frosted glass doors, and we have this really nice courtyard here. And by the way, uh, Nick, Nick Miller, Cobalt Banker, uh, is the one who allowed me to take this video and it's super useful. So thank you to Coldwell Banker and to Nick for making this happen. Uh, so this is really cute. There's the, I opened up the other door over there. We'll see that that's the hallway going down towards the bedrooms. This door over here on the left is for the, um, the washer and dryer. So I'll walk over, but you've got like a little separate uh, place for the washer and dryer. So it is outside and really cute. I mean, actually there's a lot of room there. So if you like, if you like to do laundry, that'll work out fine. Sorry, that was a little bit more hectic than I usually like it to be. The garage door is here. So you go in and there is a two car garage. And then we're gonna come in the front door and you're gonna see that there's all these uh, replaced dual pane windows all the way across. Uh, the majority of them are double sliders. So there's a lot of access to the outside. And then this is a really nice big vaulted space. So uh, I, I like it a lot. It's got concrete flooring that's been steel cut so that it will hopefully not crack that much. There's a crack that goes across the center. Um, you know, we're in the desert, it rumbles, we're on sand, that is very common. Uh, really nice, there's a gas fireplace. I like the features of that. Um, this is a really generous layout. And of course the connection to the backyard is really good. I didn't turn up the lights that much in the kitchen, so it's a little dark, but it's not actually going to be that dark. Uh, hallway, which we will see eventually, goes down to the, the bedrooms, but um, you can see that you have the kitchen here, which is kind of a modified galley. You have a, a dine-in bar, which is great. Uh, everything is in really good shape. Uh, nice stainless steel package. That doorway goes out to the hallway, and the bright door beyond that is the one that goes out to where the laundry is out front. Uh, I'll just swing around again. You can see that there's a Sputnik uh, type lamp and you have the Claire Story windows along the far wall. Um, really nice, really, really nice. So what we'll do is I'll step outside, uh, give us a chance to see the outside here. Being in Twin Palms, which was the first of the Alexander Construction Company neighborhoods that they worked on, you have some really nice walkable stuff that's here. Now, gas fireplace outside, a uh, few, few uh, fruit trees, you can see that the wires are here. We do have wires in the Twin Palms area. That's very common. Um, however, the view itself is not really obstructed by it. So uh, you, you could probably put a tree in there and it might make it so that you see less of it. Outside of the home, it has been done in a very smooth, uh, not painted, just regular finished stucco. So there's natural streaking that happens with that. You have a pool, no spa, so this is just a regular pool. It does have a little water feature that's done with the pump um, that probably runs as long as the pump is running. Really nice size yard, really nice views. Um, you can see over, there's a uh, open door. That's gonna be the primary bedroom. And then the wall behind is off of the primary bath. And then as I come back, you can see that there's a foam roof on here that looks like it's in good shape. You can also see that there is venting along the top. The ductwork is um, very common on homes like this just because there was no attic space. So that's, that's a natural thing. All right, well, let's head back in. I'm gonna take us down the hallway just so that we're doing the whole um, kind of feel from the front door. Um, I have really great artwork in here. This, this seller's got some terrific stuff. So there is the hallway. There's me, Mark, markgps.com if you have questions about real estate. Uh, storage to the right, which is plenty of storage. And then this is where the kitchen is. As I said, you would go through this door to get to the kitchen. Uh, next to that is gonna be the closet that has the Oh, so exciting AC, but it looks like it's in fairly good shape. It's a nice big closet space. And then there is a frame for a door here that we're gonna pass through, but there's no door. 
so it's just open. As I turn, you will see that there is the water purification system, an AC system that's sticking out of the wall there for where the laundry was located, and then that's the door to the two-car garage. I'll continue the just complete turn uh, 360 so you can get an idea of layout. And then as I come full around, white wall, white, white, white wall, neat art. There's actually a great painting of the house right here on the right. And then as I come down, it is anchored by the bathroom at the end, but I'm going to turn left, and this is going to be the first of the three bedrooms. This bedroom has got really nice mountain views. There's two to the south. Uh, this is set up as a media room, but they have a couch. I'm assuming that's a pullout. And there is a closet with, uh, all the closet doors have been replaced with the frosted and stainless steel treatment, which I think is really very nicely done. Um, I didn't mention, but the landscaping outside is all finished as well, which is uh, kind of a nice thing to have, I have to say. All right, so um, doors to the rooms have been replaced with a single pane frosted glass door. Um, that's awful, awful nice. There I am again, still going left. So into the second bedroom, this is the corner bedroom. All the windows have been replaced in this house. So they're all the vinyl windows with dual pane glass. And then this has a queen size bed in it. I think that's queen. It's kind of a tight bed. I mean, it can handle a queen. It could handle a king. It would be a little bit tight. And then you can see where the, the closet doors have been replaced, just like everywhere else. And then across the way is going to be the primary suite, but I'm going to turn left yet again. And this time we're gonna go into the hall bath. This is the bath that would be used by the two bedrooms we just went to go visit. Again, it's Mark, markgps.com. Hi, how are you doing? If you've got questions about real estate, please feel free to ask. I am more than happy to help out. Uh, so nice finishes. This is kind of cool, the tile here, or the, the slab stone that they're using has the same color as the countertops, or as the, ca and the cabinet fronts, which is nice. You can see the hallway all the way to the front door, which I still have open. It's a beautiful day outside. And now I'm gonna turn left one more time. And this time we're gonna go into the really generous primary suite. So um, I'm just gonna point out the floors, again, they are polished concrete. They have minor cracking in them and imperfections, and that's actually in the way it works. That's, that's normal, so I don't really think it's a problem, but I love people to understand that that's just the nature of the product. You're working with something that has some natural imperfections to it. Two closet doors here. There are organizers inside. Uh, they have a queen size bed on angle in this room, so it really gives you a lot of space, but you could easily put a king size bed in here. That is the open door that goes to the backyard that uh, I was discussing when we were on the other side of the backyard. And then this is the primary bedroom or bathroom, I should say, and it does have sliding doors to yet another closet that's right here. You have me, hey, Mark, markgps.com. Uh, nice dual vanity situation. I like, the, again, a really lovely choice of stone that's in here. That little door goes outside. So if you were in the pool, you would be able to come in here. This is a jetted, well, not jetted, but an aerated tub, if you will. It has uh, bubbles that will come out of it. And uh, there's, you know, like a nice thing, like having a little window to let the air out. Nice big shower, gotta like a big shower. And then you have the, uh, the bidet here, or I should say the toilet, which looks really great. And back to the primary bedroom. So that's this. This is 1178 East Ends Drive. Again, thank you to Nick Miller over Cobalt Banker Realty. Really appreciate it. And if you have questions about real estate, always feel free to ask me. Mark, markgps.com. Have a great day.